It all started back in 2015. I was at my dad's house and the conversation turned to a picture that was on his wall. And he began telling me about his time in the Marine Corps. And so we started talking about Iwo Jima. And the conversation naturally turned toward another man that my dad knew that had also been on Iwo Jima. And I had heard him speak about him before. And that man's name was Carl Monroe Strong. And Carl had been a, a relative by marriage of my dad. Uh, back where they grew up in the Appalachian Mountains, the coal mining uh, area of southeastern Kentucky. Very rugged area. He told me about Carl and about how he had gone on the, with the first wave of Marines onto Iwo Jima and survived that. And uh, he was actually down at the base of Mount Suribachi when the iconic flag photo was taken on top of it. The fact that he made it that far and got to the very end in the last great battle and was killed there, it, it was heartbreaking to even think about that, but we wanted to, to learn more about him and find out more, and we wanted to try to find where he was buried. And so that's where the search began. What sparked my interest to, to find Carl was that uh, I've always um, had a lot of admiration for the Marine Corps and, and what they've accomplished. I've always had a, uh, a knack for history, and I also like mysteries. And the story of Carl Strong had all of that and more. We knew he had come back to the United States. We knew where he was in the grave location in Kentucky. And then we knew that in the 1980s, almost 40 years later, they were all moved. And so we were gonna find him no matter what, and we were gonna drive there, wherever he was, and find him, and pay tribute to him, and tell him thank you.